Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this crab and shrimp linguine. It is absolutely delicious, it's creamy, and it has a lot of flavor. So let's get started with the video. First, we're going to prep our ingredients. Begin by chopping up a half a cup to a cup of spinach, depending on how much spinach you want in your pasta. When you have finished, set your spinach to the side. Next, we're going to cut six garlic cloves into slices. When you're finished, set your sliced garlic to the side. Next, dice one tomato. Then set your diced tomato to the side. Finally, peel and devein your shrimp. You can add as much shrimp as you want. I added eight large pieces of shrimp, but if you really like shrimp, you can add medium-sized shrimp so you can have a lot more in your pasta. When you're finished peeling and deveining your shrimp, set it to the side. In a saucepan over medium heat, add four tablespoons of olive oil. Then add your sliced garlic. Cook the garlic and the oil together over medium heat. Once the garlic begins to simmer, cook it for 2-3 to three minutes, or until the garlic begins to turn golden around the edges. Once that happens or the time is up, pour your garlic and oil into a heat proof bowl. The garlic will continue to cook inside the bowl creating some delicious garlic chips. Once you've poured the garlic and oil inside the bowl, go ahead and set it to the side to use later. Now, in a large pot of water, add a tablespoon of vinegar and a tablespoon of liquid seafood boil. The vinegar makes it easier for you to pick the crabs after they're finished cooking, and the liquid seafood boil gives your crabs flavor. Now, bring the water to a boil. Once the water is boiling, add one snow crab and let it cook for 5 minutes. After the initial 5 minutes, take it out of the boiling water, let it cool for about a minute or so, and then pick the meat out. When you're finished, set your crab meat to the side. Now we're going to cook our shrimp. In a pan over medium heat, add some butter. Once your butter has melted, add your shrimp. Then season your shrimp. I seasoned my shrimp with pepper, Old Bay, onion powder, and garlic powder. Cook your shrimp for about 3-5 to five minutes. Once your shrimp has finished cooking, take it off the heat and set it to the side. Next, we're going to cook our linguine noodles. In a large pot of water over high heat, add some salt. Bring the water to a boil and then add your linguine noodles. 
Cook your noodles for however long it says to on the box. Once your noodles have finished cooking, drain the water and set your noodles to the side. Now that we've finished prepping all of our ingredients, we can go ahead and make our pasta. Add one to two tablespoons of your garlic oil into a large pan. Then add one fourth cup of diced onions. Then saute your onions for about three to four minutes. Lightly season your onions with salt and pepper. Now add one tablespoon of minced garlic and saute that for about one minute. Next add one cup of chicken broth and two tablespoons of butter. Let the chicken broth and butter cook until the butter has melted. Butter has melted, add two cups of heavy cream. Now add two ounces of cream cheese. Once the cream cheese is melted into your sauce, add a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Then add a half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth or half a teaspoon of Creole seasoning, and a fourth a teaspoon of liquid seafood oil. Then mix everything until well combined. Next, add one cup of lump crab meat. Mix it into your sauce and then let it simmer for about five minutes. After that, add two to three tablespoons of your chopped spinach. Or you could add even more spinach if you want. Stir the spinach into your sauce and then let it cook for about two more minutes. Now reduce your heat to low and add in your linguine noodles. Stir your linguine noodles into your sauce until they are completely coated. And that's it, you have finished making your pasta. Now it's time to plate it up. Oh, by the way, at this point you can add in your shrimp if you want or you can save it to add it on top. Once you've added your pasta to your plate, you can go ahead and add your toppings. I added my shrimp, tomatoes, snow crab meat, and the garlic chips from before. And this is the finished result. The pasta was delicious, it was flavorful and creamy. I really like the garlic chips in the pasta as well as the tomatoes. Tomatoes in Alfredo pasta just taste amazing. This is a great pasta for anyone who loves crabs like I do. I'm really glad with the outcome of this pasta, especially since I just made it up from the top of my head. I was really hungry one day, so I thought this would make a great pasta and ended up making it. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!